Reapers of Mayhem. Welcome back to the channel, Sons of Anarchy, Season 7, Episode 5. And I have tried my best, and I tried to rack my brain, and it really started to hurt when I tried to figure out, and I'm going to ask for y'all's help out there, how many deaths of innocent people is Gemma responsible for at this point of the show? Ooh. Because one it's thing, there. it always takes a minute for stuff like that to click for me. But what happened at Diosa is a direct result of Gemma and her lies. That's right. It's one of those I things. I didn't think about it yeah, like that. It's one of those things where as I'm like watching it back a second time and letting the episode digest and you realize why that happened and you rewind and go back to like yeah. the, the how and why things start. Holy shit. It's all because of Gemma's lies saying like, oh, it was that guy who was responsible for Tara's death. Not me, him. And essentially, Gemma's the one responsible for this war and charming now. Yeah. And it's really interesting because you go back, and I, I thought about this a lot. Jax is doing exactly what I would expect Jax to do. Yeah. He's essentially a mob boss at this point, where True. he has to True. do whatever he has to do to protect his family, protect his club. And if that means retaliation, that means retaliation. So going back, thinking about what happened with Ope, he knew exactly who was involved with that situation. He was there, he dealt with it, he understood everything that went down, and he handled it after the fact. Yeah. This is another situation where he's doing the same thing, except he doesn't have all the proper information. That's he true. has lies. Yes, he does. So his retaliation is causing this giant war. What did Lynn say he was gonna do to the streets of Charming, turn into like death zone or something? It's, I don't know, a killing zone? Something like that, which it has now become. Killing field. Killing field, that's what it was, yes. And it's, it's really interesting because watching Jax act, he thinks he knows what he's dealing with, but he really has no idea. He has no clue what he's actually doing. And this intel that he's playing off of is all wrong. Well, it's all wrong. See, some of it, like, even, like, as he was killing that poor guy, like, I feel bad for him. I mean, what, you know. Yeah, I mean. He... I, I, some parts made me feel like he didn't really know that he was the killer, but he's just going with it because that's what he was told. It was just, it kind of reminded me of the situation when Opie was looking for retaliation for Donna. Right. And he just killed that random niner. Thinking yeah. like that's who was responsible for it when it was like, did you really actually believe that it was him? Because you didn't actually get confirmation. You didn't hear him say it. You don't act actually have any proof about it. Yeah, he it kind of felt it like the death. same thing. Yeah, yeah. And just the way this show just flows like that is just incredible to me. And again, I'm going to ask for your all's help. Just put some comments down there and let us know how many deaths Gemma is responsible for. Her acts, her lies, her deception has led down many different roads. Yeah. And this one feels like it's one of the worst because everybody at Diosa got friggin' gunned down. They yeah. are all dead. Yeah. And the fact that the ice cream shop got blowed up and the intent was to kill everyone there as well, luckily they were able to scatter and not get hit with that explosion. But these dudes know exactly what they're doing. He knew he had to break that glass and throw that grenade in there because it was just going to probably bounce off the window yeah, anyways. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> but like, like oops. <laughs> we, we had a little bit of a chat about Lin and his capabilities because we... I mean, he's been around for a long time, but we yeah. haven't seen this level of him before. I underestimated him completely. Yeah, I mean, it feels very much like the Irish situation where like, oh, Irish, oh, that's a cute storyline. That's fun. It's like, we're going to see. What are they going to do all the way from freaking Belfast? Exactly. Huh. And yeah. yeah, they have a very large impact on things that happen. Yeah. And just the fact that Lynn laid out that threat and now that all is starting to play out and he's basically following through on his threat. It's not yeah. just an empty threat, it's legitimate. And he's in a really dangerous spot because he's killed a lot of people. And yeah, I don't I don't feel like Jax, this is tough because I, I talk about it a lot. Yeah. Revenge mindset is a dangerous mindset. It because is. Because you There's aren't focused. Too much emotions in there. Well, I felt like everything that Jax said that he was gonna do to Lynn, Lynn has done to him. I mean, essentially, it, it yeah. feels that way. 
But the fact that he wants to sit them down, and like there is no ally now. There is no sitting down with Lynn and being like, oh yeah, we trust each other. I, I got you all the information you no. need. There is someone else feeding that information. And I think we'll find out at, at some point about who is essentially throwing Jax under the bus. Mm -hmm. And it, it just feels really bad. It feels like Jax is a little bit out of his depths right now. It feels like he doesn't have control of what's going on. Because again, he usually comes up with really great plans. He's a great strategist. He always has been. But I don't think he's clear-minded as he shouldn't be the fact that his wife the love of his life was murdered the way that she was i don't expect someone like Jax, who we have seen from the very beginning be a very reactionary person when yeah. it comes to things he acts quickly he acts violently he's always had that mindset he's always been relatively good about controlling it for the most part. I mean, I unless like you touch his bike, he's going to yeah. knock you out, of course, obviously. I feel like sometimes he asks questions and then acts. Like, yeah. I felt like the previous seasons, like, he, he's been way more like, okay, we got to pump the brakes, mm -hmm. see how what happens, and then move forward. This has all been like a fuck this shit, let's go. Yeah, he doesn't have a plan. He even said, like... When he was talking to the jury, like, oh, last time we talked, you had a great vision for the club. He's like, I don't have a vision for the club. I'm just living and just acting. But it feels like it's all really bad and it's going to lead down some really dangerous roads because you get all these crews against you, you're not going to really have a lot to defend yourself with because Lynn's crew, the Mayans, the Niner, like, all these folks out there, if they all turn on you, you're completely screwed. And jury, I feel like, is the biggest wild card currently because he was betrayed. Oh, my God. He lost someone important to him. Yeah. Jax and the crew staged the whole scene. They used the shotgun that Jury used, and they lied about what went down. And Jury got the body out after the boys came through and killed these two guys who helped them blowing up Lynn's crew initially. And the fact that Jury has this information, the, he didn't tell Bobby when they had the conversation. No. He's at the top of my list of people who would throw Jax under the bus and let Lynn know about what's going on. Because again, he was there. He knows what went down. Right. He could prove it and, and explain how things went. And I feel like he would have the most cause to do such a thing. I feel like that makes the most sense if this kid that died at the hands of Jax and Jax lied about it and betrayed Jury like this. Yeah. He has every like all the reasons in the world to go against Jax at this point, regardless of what their history is, regardless of what his history was with JT. Like none of that shit matters if you do something that basically you kill the family member, it feels like. Possibly a son. Yeah. Who knows? Mm. But if you like Jury's the big wild card here in this situation and it's gonna get Jax into a lot of trouble, because he's already in a lot of trouble. How are we gonna rebound from this Diosa thing? Shit. What I, is I think you're ha, What does Nero do? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I feel like Nero's been trying to get out of this situation for so long. And he just, every time he tries to get away, he just gets sucked in more and more. He can't stay now. He just can't. There's nothing there. I mean, like, Colette from Stockton was in that house. Like, her house is up in Stockton. Are they going to go do it to Stockton, too? Yeah, I mean, it felt like their two hit points were Diosa and the ice cream parlor, and they hit them both very hard. Well, I mean, they're trying to go after everything that wow. Jax has, so I wouldn't know why they wouldn't go for stock yeah too. And we've got juice who's oh, out and about the wild car apb's out there on him and i don't know how this story is going to go his he's always been a very difficult character to read he like under these circumstances he is very easily manipulated by people when he feels like information is going to go against him right he people use him really well it's very unfortunate and it sucks for him i used to feel bad for him i do not anymore after what he did to roosevelt but this little triangle that we have now with Unser, who's now an investigator, Gemma, who is talking to Tara currently when she's alone, which is like, she's lost it. And I mean, Juice is talking to himself as well. I feel like, and we've talked about this every video up to this point, the first person who feels like they got the most to lose like and are, and are about to lose everything are going to rat out somebody. Yeah. I was really hopeful. Fucking Wendy. Well, Wendy didn't do anything. She doesn't even know what fucking yeah. happened. And she's like over here like backing up Gemma and Juice. Yeah, she doesn't know. She's not aware. But I feel like I was really hopeful that Juice would have told Chib something. Yeah. But it just never got to that point. And... It's going to be really difficult for anyone to listen to Juice because they're all really angry with him and they don't even know what his role was in the Tara and Roosevelt situation. They're just mad at him about the other stuff still. 
and Jax yeah. just felt betrayed by him and revealing the stuff with Nero and that whole situation and oh yeah it, it just all feels really bad I this all just feels like a giant cluster yeah it, it feels like Gemma's gonna try to throw Uncer under the bus while Uncer is doing investigations on them I don't know if Juice is gonna throw Gemma under the bus like it feels like first one to get into a lot of trouble is gonna reveal some information who's and, driving the bus yeah who's first Oh my God. Who's first to reveal some shit and lie? Yeah. I mean, it's wild where we are now in this show and the stuff that has gone down. And every season we've talked about, like, is this the end of the club? Is this the end of the club? Oh, is this the end of the, is this the end of the club? I mean, we're on the final season, so it feels like this is the end of the club. Yeah, it feels like we're going down that road to where they're so over their heads that they're just going to be in a lot of trouble. And maybe things are sunshine and rainbows at the end for Sam Crow. It just doesn't feel like that it right now. It doesn't feel like that. Things feel like they're in a really dangerous place, and I can't wait to see where this next episode goes yeah. in like the scariest way possible. I know. You ready for it? Yeah. Let's go. Like what do you do? Seriously, Jax? What the hell? Oh my god. When they're like shooting the shot, they be like, everybody hold your breath, and three, two, one, panning across. Probably. Um. Hab's getting everyone to Red Woody. We'll lock it down. West. I don't know. Send Quinn and Montez. Nero split. Kitchen. Dude. I need to understand why this happened. You're gonna have to ask the Chinese. I'm asking you, why would Lin go so far? Yeah, tell him. What'd the club do? I don't have an answer for you, Nero. Yeah, you do. Whatever the reason, nothing justifies what happened here. The thing is, Jax doesn't know the reason. That's true, I guess, I don't know. I mean, he knows what he's done to Lin, but Lin shouldn't know that because of the plan. I the rest of you should split. I got this. I got this. Every time I hear it. Yeah. I'm gonna let the Stockton girls know about Colette. Someone should tell Borowski. Yeah, stop by there first. That sucks. He's done. He's gotta be done. Does that just push him closer to the Mayan side of this whole thing and... Lynn's side of thing and turn him against Jax. It's all your fault, Gemma. It's like she's always like the first domino to knock over. Mm hmm. Hi, all of them. Uh huh. Yeah. What is. What? I feel like I missed an episode. It's definitely one of those relationships that's like moved so fast on screen it's like what happened she probably gets raised too yeah because it's like it feels like there's a ton of history between the two of them yes but, but then there they obviously act like, isn't but it's not obvious it, because they look like they've the way he even like put his hand on her hand in the car it was like hi babe I just, I still think it's funny that all that shit goes down. I'm sorry, but the sheriff is not getting a ride home with one of the biker dudes in the no. neighborhood. Like, it's not happening. I don't care how much trauma there was. <laughs> it just definitely feels like one of those things that was like, oh, this is last season. Chibs needs a relationship. We're going to fast forward the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks on the job. I already made the record books. Worst massacre in my quadrant ever. Oops. This had to be a payback. I need to know who, Wayne. This will vibrate all the way up to Sacramento. If we don't find answers, the feds will. It's time for you to make a choice. Ooh. What side of the table are you sitting on? What side of the table are you sitting on? Or shower, should we say. Oh, God. Bed, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like, Unser, come on, man. You can't keep letting this happen. I'm I mean, not she's... Just letting it, but you know what I mean? She's technically gotten the relationship deeper than Unser ever has. I don't think Nutzer ever slept with a member of the club. <laughs> I know you're not going to give us any information. Outlaw code. You've got a room filled with the slaughtered bodies of innocent people. I'm aware. I've been doing this a while. 
guy's a lot more dangerous than your MC. Whoa. I know how to navigate around outlaw code, how to function within it, and still do my job. Patterson, feds, my boss, shit, they're gonna be so far up my ass with this disaster. The only way this doesn't crush both of us is if you bend with me. I don't give a shit what that looks like. I don't care how the intel is delivered. But if I don't get some cooperation, this all cracks wide open. Wow. And none of us walk away whole. She just said that in front of other people. Mm-hmm. She don't give a look. That feels ominous right there. Mm -hmm. Jax feels no pain. No, the whole flame, though. I Are you going to burn something down? But he also just slowly... Oh, I get it, I get it. ...push his finger through the flame with no reaction. I, I think I understand what the sheriff's doing. I think I... I think I get her role in all this. She wants to, like, she'll do whatever it takes to figure out what she needs to figure it out. If that's being in bed literally with the club, then she'll do it. Mr. Lynn needs to speak with you. Come on. In the back. Tell your boss I don't feel much like working today. You can chat here. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Right. Ain't my war, amigo. Dude, he's, he's, like, he's cooperating. Fuck her God. Let's lie Here. Come here, baby. <laughs> I mean, the amount of loss that Lila has gone through. Oh, my God. Who would do something like that? Gemma knows. Why does this keep happening? Why do people keep dying? <laughs> so brutal. West is dead. Guns are gone. <sighs> what the other charters? Yo, no jacking. This is bad. You doing okay, little man? Can I go home, Daddy? So so Did somebody die? Aww. Some friends of ours got hurt. We just want to make sure everyone's okay. That's why we're all here. Do you take care of all these people? Yeah, I do, son. <laughs> Daddy's responsible for everyone here. It's my job to keep them safe. Doing a shit job, Dad. Oh, sorry. Let's be honest. I mean, these conversations are getting so damn tedious, don't you think? I need to understand. You need to understand. You know what I need to understand, Nero? Why you've been telling me that I should trust Teller? Because the whole time you've been playing negotiator, the MC has been raping me. Teller is a liar. Teller is the one who stole my guns, took out my guys. Oh God. I found my guns in a port warehouse guarded by a member of Sam Crow. Who gave you that information? If that's true, then he's been lying to both of us. Yeah? Well, there's only one move to prove that. You deliver Teller to me. I'll handle the payback. There's got to be an explanation for Let me be more specific. You deliver Teller, or I kill you. Okay. And in case you got any ideas about taking a road trip, security at the cripple home ain't that tight. Oh, shit. Why are you bring baby into this? Save that rage for your biker pal. He's the one who should catch it. This is all bad. Why is Nero, like, he continues to be stuck in the middle of all this bullshit. Honestly, I would go take my kid and just fucking take off. Find another hospital somewhere else. I mean, why wouldn't he at this point turn Jax in? Right? How many times now has Jax lied to Nero about something? Oh my god. Every chance he gets. Our assault on Lynn was airtight. I mean, he may have had suspicions, but no proof. Not airtight. Someone gave up the location of those guns. He found West, he got his proof. Sam Crow and Indian Hills were the only ones who knew. And Borowski. What about Lynn? How do we handle payback? He'll be off the grid, man. That's why we're gonna smoke him out. My God. I don't, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. Let's go visit our crooked cop. Quinn, you and Montez hold shit down here. Call Nero. Have a meet us at Borowski's. Uh, I don't want to. I just got a call from my dad's nursing home. He's taking a turn for the worse. I gotta go up there. That's not a good idea. I don't want you on the road, and I can't spare any of the guys. I'll call him, sir. He can come with me. Mm. 
using the depth of your dad as an excuse to get out of there. No, she's not, he's not dead yet. No, but like she's using that to get Juice out. Oh, I know. That's her only way out to get away from them. But like using that. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh my juice. Oh no. Really? Just for a snack? Oh my god, I'm so scared for him. Uh. Hey! Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit, dude. He just fucked up, I feel like. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Roski's like, fuck. Break this shit up! <laughs> now! Come on, come on. Holy shit, dude. Coming in hot. You've been lying to me, man. The whole time, to my face. You looked me in the eye, and you said you had nothing to do with the shit that was happening in Berlin. Whew. That's why all of our girls are getting stuffed in the goddamn bags right now. And now you're looking to kill me, because I vouch for you. I believed in you. You threatened my boy. My blood! That's gonna fall on you too. Shit. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Chinese kill Tara. You don't know that. You don't. Jama saw two of his guys leaving my house that night. Shai did one of them at the party. It's not true! Jesus Christ. You're right. I've been lying to you. And I'm sorry the blowback of this hit you and your family, but I am gonna destroy Lynn. And nothing's gonna stop me from doing that. <sighs> I don't wanna lose you as a partner or a friend, but you're gonna have to decide what side of this fight you wanna land on. Oh shit. Oh my god. The same ultimatum that Lynn gave him. The side of the fight, he died in this is so fucked for Somebody him. Somebody gave up the location of our guns to Lynn. You and your guys, you're the only ones who knew outside the club. Port Patrol watches it during the day. I got one guy on it at night. You trust that guy? Not as much as you trust me. Then we better talk to him. I feel so bad for Nero. When you decide where you land on all this, I'd appreciate a heads up. You mean like the heads up you give to Nero? I don't know, man. Think about all of the shit that has happened in the episode since Gemma murdered Tara. Holy <coughs> shit. What the fuck? What's going on, buddy? Not gonna let anybody hurt him. I take care of him. But nobody's gonna hurt anyone. People always get hurt. No, oh, sweetheart. I want to go home. We're gonna go home really soon. Promise. Oh. Now! Abel! <laughs> I'm sorry, Tommy. I was so scared that he was gonna hit his brother with I that know. hammer. Same. Like, whether it was an accident or anything. Oh my, that was... Oh, shit. This is that business associate of mine, Jax Teller. We keep an eye on some of his merchandise down at the warehouse. Is there a problem? I lost all my shit. One of my crew got killed. Uh -oh didn't happen on my patrol. The point is that it did happen. I'm on the beat, Charlie. I can't stay there all night. You know that. When'd you make your last drive by the warehouse? I'm not sure. At five, 5.30 maybe? Jesus! Oh, God. Just trying to jog oh, your God. memory a little bit. Um, I'm not a fan of what Tig is thinking. I pay you a lot of goddamn money. My reputation's on the line here. Pull his pants, though. Uh, see, I fucking knew it. How called it? Shove this flute right up his ass. I was just thinking beat down, but that works still. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Let go of yeah. oh, Jesus, I'm a goddamn cop. You can't let him throw this. Well, you think that's working <laughs> in your favor right now? At least grease it up a little bit. No, I don't want him to enjoy it. You <laughs> dig, <laughs> dude? <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking I knew it. Somebody. 
Said they paid me 2K to avoid your warehouse last night. Said they would leave the cash at the front gate kiosk. Somebody you don't know just called you out of the blue. Yeah, that's right. You're a goddamn liar. I'm not lying. You're lying. I'm not lying. <gasps> oh. Uh, oh. I was not expecting that. Shithead. I guess we're done talking to him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, can't get any information now. Oh. Okay, well, all right, well, there's that. Good God. I did not expect, like. <laughs> not from Borowski? No. I mean, I get, but I don't know. Ugh. Fuck. What a mess. This is an absolute mess. Jax told me about the Chinese, what you saw. Sorry, I didn't tell you. I was afraid, baby. Jax didn't want anyone to know. A lot of people getting killed. I know. I was out there in the middle of all of that. I'm here trying to keep the peace while Jax is out there waging war. Yeah, and you couldn't have filled them in on a couple of things. Because this war has come to charming now, and it's going to get a whole lot bloodier. So is it okay? No. No. We need to talk. Dude, these episodes are so tense. Oh god. Oh. Oh. She's gonna kill this dude. <gasps> oh god. Just don't kill him, is all. Oh god. Well, we're now we're here. Oh God, are you serious? Why do I feel like he was just like a worker of the motel he's at? Don't and... look at me. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Um. Why do I feel like he was just trying to get information on who was staying in the room? I don't know. This ain't easy for me, Henry. I'm with. Jax's mom connected to him. It's more than just business. I understand that. So Jax has brought me into his uh, inner circle. He's gonna call you, try to set up a meet. Warehouses, near the ones you hit. He's gonna tell you that he's gonna give you your heroin back as a gesture of goodwill. This is fake. This is, this is fucking fake, right? A shitload of other guys from other charters. They gonna pile out of that warehouse, take you all out. Yeah, you just called 10 minutes ago at the meet. He mentions. I would bring everybody you got, man, because you're gonna need an army. This is him building that trust with Lynn. Yeah. Chinese, they did this. He came into the room. I had no choice. Oh! He did this, Jim. It's gotta be one of Lynn's guys. Oh, now he's paranoid. He's got a set of master keys, Juice. He's not a gangster, he works here. <laughs> yeah. Now, that room was only paid through yesterday. You probably thought you checked out. Dumbass Juice. I feel like Juice is gonna shoot himself. In I the thought the same thing. I, th I think he's gonna... Why is he scared of the Chinese, Jim? What did he mean, that? We did this. The truth. Chinese killed Tara. They had to be the ones that attacked the Osa. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do you know that I they saw killed... I leaving the house that night. Who did you see? It doesn't matter. It does matter, but... Dude, this is so messed up. It was the Chinese that hit the Osa. Why? Retaliation. Club is convinced that they killed Tara. Jax took out one of uh, Lynn's gun shipments. Blood for blood. Reach out to Stockton and Oakland PD. Have them put a tail out on uh, Henry Lynn. Oh no. This is gonna be terrible. Uh, Gemma oh, yeah. giving more information to Unser, and Unser just acting without knowledge of anything, and man. The amount of trouble that Unser and Gemma cause, <laughs> it's nuts. Let's go. Against the wall. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Against the wall. 
The hell is this, Henry? Where's my heroin? In the warehouse. Fetch. <laughs> Gems? I know. <laughs> what? Is it a bomb? I mean, probably not because they just shot at it and nothing happened. Please tell me that Nero was able to get his son and get the fuck out of there. Peace offering, Henry. You were one short. Marks gave a kilo to the Niners. He's calling all the shots, man. I'm done with this war. Well, I am next team, Eric! Marks ordered all those hits on you, man. The guys are in control. He's going to swallow all of us up. I cannot believe you're believing this right now. You have been lying to me this whole time. Why the hell should I believe you now? You shouldn't. Take us with you. We'll sit down with you and Alvarez, figure out a way to bring down Black. If we're lying, kill both of us. Chips is like, well, slow the fuck down. You look like that crazy. Where do you stand with Padilla? He never showed up at Diosa. I ain't seen that fool in days. Oh my god, he just lied! This is, feels so, I don't know what's going on! Take him. See, the reason why I don't think this plan would work, with everything that's gone down, I don't think Lynn would speak. I think he would just shoot on sight. Yeah. Considering what's went down. I thought he would I just fucking kill him and then be done with it. But maybe the plan that Nero gave him made him hesitate. I don't know. Maybe. Is Jax going to scream, we've been kidnapped? Oh my god. I would die. Literally. Zip him to the fence. Oh. Except him. Uh, oh. I'm so confused. Oh, it's this dude. Him. This isn't... We'll get rid of him. You gotta be shitting me. Get out! Those aren't the act, but real officers that they might be on the but way. No idea what a big mistake this is, Teller. Not as big a mistake as you cry, my boy. What the hell are you talking about? This isn't the way I wanted to do this, Henry. I wanted it to be much slower, much smarter. But this is gonna have to do. You're an idiot, Teller. I had nothing to do with what happened with your old lady. No, I was the one. Would advise Nero to tell you to bring a whole army. Now you're gonna watch as my guys rip apart your entire crew. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're done. Just a dirty Oakland memory. I, I'm very uncomfortable. But first, it's you and me. Who's gonna tell him? Oh, oh he throws yeah. kicks. Oh my god. Watch out for the kicks. <laughs> We don't have time for this. I know. Oh my God, did I get... Oh, I can't handle this. Tara! Tara! The cops will be tail in line. SWAT team's on his way. We gotta go. That felt very Red Viper right there. While he's fighting the mountain. What the hell was that? Oh, man. I mean, they're going to arrest Lynn and his crew on the suspicion of the whole Diosa shooting. So that'll get him tied up, I feel like, for a long time. I mean, you got to prove it, which... That's the... Oh, God! Is Gemma too scared that Juice is going to say some shit? Is she taking him somewhere to, like, kill Get him? Get rid of him. Not stash him? Right. Oh, oh they got, boy they out. Got, yeah. Okay. Poor Lucius, man. They're protecting Nero's boy. Yeah. He's in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> the playa. Yeah. Are these two gonna end up together somehow? 
Honestly, take all those kids, get the fuck out of there. Oh shit. Oh my god. They're gonna go hit the rest of Lynn's crew that wasn't there. Shit. What the hell are we doing in Salt Springs? Why aren't we headed north? Uh, Jax was worried about me traveling. Sent Roe River to meet us. We could change the plan. Nero will be helping us. Nero? Yeah. I can trust him. <laughs> oh, dude, you're getting set up, Juice. You remember Darvney? Junky mom? Yeah. I'm the one who killed him. It wasn't an overdose. Jax's order is for you when someone's a threat. Oh, shit. That night, I was so deed at Diosa. Nero was trying to help me. I was in such bad shape. I confessed, told him the truth. Jax lied about Darby. That's why the club wants me dead. Betrayed our king. I'm sorry. Me too. Because that's also how I know you're lying to me, Jim. Oh, shit. Nero would never help me. Damn it! Oh, fuck. Oh, he's got the gun. Stop running. Oh, shit. You're gonna kill me? No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I saved you. I trusted you. I couldn't trust you. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, sweetheart, don't kill me. You just killed an innocent dude. I don't think there would be much hesitation on Juice's part right now. <sighs> Holy shit, this show. I oh. have so many questions. Juice is going to kill Gemma 100%, right? I don't know. I think I think it's yeah. If Juice is trying to get back into the club, wouldn't he want to like hang on to Gemma for like, look, your mom killed your wife, not the fucking other guy. And thanks to me, I mean, she's still alive. That feels like the smart play. I don't. And I, I mean, on Juice's part, that would be the smart play. The fact that he was able to quickly like put the pieces together, and Gemma's like. Saying that Nero was gonna help, he's like, wait, Nero wouldn't help me. You should have used like Unser. Like Unser knows the guy that's gonna help us. I mean, that's impossible information for Gemma to have. So she probably just felt that she was dropping just some safe BS. Yeah. But, not I mean, safe. Not having all the information for once. Gemma always has all the information. For once she doesn't, it got her into a lot of trouble. How many SUVs is she gonna crash? Oh my god. How many cars? This one wasn't her fault. No, but how many cars has she been through? Because. Several. For the Zobel situation, they had to crash her car to make it look like what happened to her was a car accident. Yeah. The situation with Abel and the kids when she was high. This situation now, like, there are probably more out there, but damn. Gemma just goes through vehicles like no one else. Well, they own this, an auto body shop. <laughs> doesn't mean they have cars. I know. <laughs> Especially nice, fancy friggin' navigators. Yeah, that's true. But this story and the way this is unraveling, I say it every freaking season, this is wild. And Jax's plan against Lynn in that moment, that had to have been an audible. That had to have been just like out of nowhere, just like, oh, this he is where we are. He plans out of his ass like nobody's business that was really good and just the fact that he used Borofsky's guys that he knew were crooked were like well, genius well the fact that he fucking shot the pawn shop guy desmond oh my like he good was getting God. i mean don't don't mess up <laughs> if he's paying you you better be doing the job right and the fact that he just took a random call from a random person and random money he's like okay yeah, yeah sure no problem 2000 that's it? Wow. That's all it took? Yeah, I mean, hey. $2,000 to not go do something? Sure. 
Okay, whatever. True that, true that. The, the way this is all going to... The fact that Lynn is alive. Obviously, the wheels were spinning in his brain when he was yelling at him about killing Tara. Because he's like, wait, what? What are we here for? Like... No, that, like that's not. What are you talking? About? Like he was probably like, what? This has nothing to do with the other. Yeah, he had to have like felt like Mugatu from Zoolander because he's like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. What are you talking about, dude? You're going on this rant and wanting to fight me and kill everyone because I killed Tara? Question mark. Well, yeah. You get a high pitch. Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> that's just like it's one of those situations where you hear that and. If you're responsible for it, you'll be like, yeah, cool, let's throw down. Yeah, yeah, you throw down. Especially if your whole crew's getting friggin' zip-tied to a fence about to get murdered. Yeah. But, like, the fact that Jax is throwing this information out about stuff that they actually didn't do, I'd be like, wait, wait, what? What? I think Lynn was that. Like, when he got he up, he was. was just like... Especially after, like, all the dust settled and they left and, like, all the stuff was... He could, like, stop getting beat up. You know that meme of, like... The lady, she's like looking straight forward and like all these like math problems are like going yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah, 100%. I, I feel like that's going to lead down a certain road. I, could it even possibly be a situation where the two of them get on the same page? He actually does some intel somehow, uses his connections and sources and stuff and finds out what actually went down. I don't know if he's got that kind of pull, but I mean, if... It feels like now Juice, we talked about it every episode, I feel like, since this has all started playing out. Yeah. Juice is in the most dire lose-lose situation now. Correct. So I feel like he is going to, if he doesn't kill Gemma, I kind of thought about it, maybe he does it in that spot. He absolutely is going to get on the phone and try to talk to someone about this. And if he gets to talk to somebody about this, he is going to throw Gemma under the bus. One million percent. He should. Because he's at a lose-lose. Like, he's got nothing else to lose at this point. No. Nope. Gemma was literally driving him out to the middle of nowhere to kill him. And he picked up on it, prevented it, and now, I mean... I want so desperately Juice to be able to say it to Jax and Jax be able to look at Gemma and just... I mean, not that I want Jax to be in pain, but I want Gemma to be in pain. Yeah. I want Gemma to just be like... <gasps> No. I mean. No, I mean, I was. I can already hear what she's going to say. She's going to just deny it. Be like, I love you, baby. I didn't do that. Why would I do that? And He's lying. Yeah. Yeah, bitch, no. I mean, it, it definitely feels like under the scenario we presented every episode that Juice is now in that position and he's going to throw some folks under the bus. I want him to. The idea that Unser is now giving away information feels. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. It feels like things worked out to their advantage in that moment. I Unser is he's one of those wild cards because the fact that he's an investigator now, he's working on this job. His primary job is to find the murderer for Tara. That's his main objective, it yeah. feels like. Yeah. That where does that go? Does Juice call him first? I think that he should confess to Unser so that he has like Proof. Look, I told someone else. Yeah. That would probably really be a smart play as well. Be like, hey, go tell Unser before I go try to talk to someone who won't listen to me and wants me dead on sight. Let Unser know, and then Unser could try to relay the message before Juice sees them. And then maybe Unser could, like, organize the meet or something. I don't know. It, it definitely still feels like a really dangerous, bad situation for all of them involved. I Or maybe, it, like, Unser tells Jax. Just straight up. Like, doesn't even, like, wait If he gets the information, you know he doesn't hold back and just he reveals doesn't. information. He really so doesn't. he could be a dangerous person to tell because he'll just friggin' bleh. Yeah, word vomit all over everybody. So, who knows? It's... This is one of those situations that I'm specifically only talking about the Lynn spot. It feels like one of those, like, we're good moments to where Jax got out of that. Ugh. Which makes me really nervous that something even worse is going to happen next episode. Yeah. Cause when you say that stuff, it makes me think of I got this. Mm-hmm. Somebody gonna pull up. I got this. One of my questions about Lynn and his crew: Does Linda report to anyone? Is there anyone above Lynn, or is Lynn the guy? Is mm -hmm. he the top dog in this crew? 
Like, is he, is, is someone going to be expecting one of his phone calls one day and be like, where the fuck is Lynn? Why is he not calling me back? Right. Is, or is Lynn at the top? Is he the one in charge of all of this? Great question. I'm, I don't know. I'm curious. They're about and, to be behind bars and I guess we'll see. Yeah. Oh, and then they're supposed to like take care of it on the inside. Please tell somebody what's happening now. Yeah. And the fact that he's, like, Jax is so quick to throw August under the bus. Oh, my God. That feels like it's going to be a horrible, horrible situation. Word. I feel like that new, that information is going to get to August and, like. Do you think that they think that that's bullshit now because they were just tied up against a fence? And they're like, oh, that's, that was a fake story. Potentially. But still, I mean, the fact that they hit Lynn's massage parlor and said that it was Lynn or said it was August. Yeah. Like, it's happened. They're trying to frame August as well. Do you think somebody told August about that stuff and was like, what the fuck, man? Maybe. And then now August is like, this is not supposed to get to me. Yeah. This was not supposed to be in the streets. You don't fucking listen. Don't You're know. dead to me. Yeah. I mean, August is a really dangerous dude. And if he gets wind of any of this information, I feel like he will just go straight ruthless mode. And Because not... I thought Pope was bad. I mean... You underestimate August, so, and I feel like he's going to be just as bad as and Pope. Especially after the conversation they had where he's like, I'll show no remorse or hesitation to kill you or anyone in your crew. Yeah. Like he's he's the violent one. He's the one that Pope sent to go do all the dirty business. Yes, sir. All the murdering and the firing and all the horrible shit. So he has no problem getting his hands dirty and getting violent. So yeah. I'd be scared of August under these circumstances. You know I don't know what? if I'd be throwing him under the bus too much. We didn't get like a full resolution of that pastor's family that they got um, from the cabin and hid them. That might like I don't know what's happening much. there. Because that was the uh, one of the signers for August. Yeah. Like he needed to... That, that was one of the potential partners, right? The other big thing is Jury. This episode solidified it for me that Jury was the one yeah. because they specifically were like, this crew and this crew are the only ones who noticed and one of them was and Yeah, crew. I love how Bobby said it. Yeah. yeah. It was one of his crews for sure and it feels like Jury obviously feeling betrayed, has the gun, would be the easiest person to go give that information away. So maybe Jury's the one who gave the $2,000 for the information. Uh -huh. Who knows? I like how they didn't show him those. So yeah. That you're still you can't like, forget about but it. But that Bobby was like, Indian Hills and yeah. us, that was it. So the fact that he said that is like, okay, yeah, it's jury. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So that was a wild episode. I mean, this, <laughs> I feel like I say it every episode because this show is a freaking master class of drama. Literally master class of drama. It is on the edge of your seat, constantly feeling just absolute insanity Every minute, heart rates are climbing. It's it makes so you feel well uncomfortable. Written. It's yeah. it's very well. I mean, this season has not felt as airtight writing-wise yeah. as other seasons. But I think it is. But it just the relationship, it feels like chaos. the relationship with Chibs oh, and that. The Sheriff, that feels. I bet you they're gonna tie it up and we're gonna figure it out. That just feels weird to it me. It does feel weird. I feel like. I feel like there was a previous relationship there. How do you... It feels just... like they've had a relationship for three seasons, the way that they treat each other. Um, true. But not the way they talk to each other. They right. talk to each other like they're strangers, but they treat each other like they've known each other for a long time. And so, like, there's that level of trust there, but they talk to each other like they like are on a first date kind of thing yeah. to where they're still learning each other, but their behaviors with each other, the looks they and the know nicknames... Each other. Like, the way that... It's just... I don't know. It's Not that I have to wink. We literally just yeah. saw them get down. Exactly. So, that whole thing doesn't feel super airtight in terms of story. But, again, we still got a bunch of episodes left. They probably might find a way to tie it in and be like, Oh, hey, meet my secret girlfriend of the last two years. Well, maybe kind it's of like who, one of those things where, like... Ju remember how Juice got, like, stuck and, like, he... Like Roosevelt, like kept having to like pull him in, and he uh, couldn't say anything. But like maybe it's that type of situation. Yeah, who knows? Or it's just a rushed relationship. Who knows? But I, I mean, the way this season's going, I am just absolutely expecting mayhem in the next episode. Ooh. I mean, just Mr. Mayhem. I mean, maybe there was lots of mayhem this episode. Yeah. So wild. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Share all your thoughts, leave your comments. We'll catch you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.